Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover the for each statement. We have covered it in a previous video, but I just wanted to go over it so it sinks in and because it's very useful in creating our bots and software. Okay guys, I'm going to leave, um, use a real life example here. So all I've done guys is made a resource called URLs. I've made it a fixed string and it just points towards a list of URLs. And I'm going to record. Wait for that to load. Okay guys, so this is what I've done here. I've read the file to a list. So the resource called URLs I've put to a list. And like I've done in a previous video. And the list is called list with file content. And what I've said, I've made a for each loop. Now guys, a for each loop could be used for many, many different things. It could be um, for each account in a list. Okay, so you could have a, a, a list of Twitter accounts, you could have a list of URLs like I've got in this case. It could be for a web page for, for each and then connection button or connection link for, for LinkedIn. Do these actions like um, press the button to connect with someone, wait 50 seconds, press the next one. So for each one in a list or um, a series of um, a certain thing like URLs or accounts do these actions. I hope that makes sense guys um, If you need clarification with any of the videos Obviously if you're a paid member then you can hit hit me up on email and I'll give you um, really in-depth um, guidance and um, Templates if you're not if you're a free member then leave a comment uh, below and I'll answer your questions as best I can um, so yeah, so we've made it for each loop and we've said in the loop for every um, item that's in this list so list with file con content so let me just click on that and make it clearer so for each so for each and we've put the variable list with file content what's called an array in this case so for every single item in this list loads loads the list or the item on the list so that's already made the variable for each data okay that's automatically made when you make a loop for each loop so I've said for every single um, item in this list load the data that you have so th so this is the first item in the list then make a log saying website and then the website URL has been loaded so I hope that makes sense guys um, I think it'll be more clearer when I show you in action and this like I said this is such a very basic example as you move on in the videos you'll see this in uh, real live bots um, especially with social media bots and scrapers okay so let's just stop there and press run and press ok and you'll see what's happening it's going to run through the for each loop until it's run out of URLs in this case there you go Fred one website contact us has been loaded then the next one and the next one and we can press the browser icon here guys and you can see the websites loading there you go it's just going over each one that's in the list sorry guys there you go ah it's good it's finished <laughs> There you go guys, so we went to this website, then it went to the next one, and the next one, and it just, for each for each item, or in this case for each URL, we told it to load the URL, as we saw it done in the browser, then move on to the next one. And it will end when there's no more pages, um, in this case no more URLs to load, okay? So it's basically a way just to run a set of um, events, a set of actions for each item that there is so like I said guys that could be for each URL in a list it could be for every account in a database or in a file it could be for each comment box on the page it could, could be for each image that's on the page and so on and so forth guys so it's a good way to keep your script or your bot 
or your software very neat and tidy when you're making it by using these logical statements an if statement a while statement for each statement um, part of programming or coding or in this case making software is learning to use the correct statement or the right actions at the right time now with that being said there's always more than one way to skin a cat like for instance sometimes you can you could either use a if statement or a while statement they'll both do the same job it just depends on your preference okay guys so as you learn these different logical steps you can make more neat and tidy um, bots and software and of course make them more powerful okay guys so i hope this has made sense leave any comments in the box below and i'll see you in the next video